if I'm not wrong, last time when I talk about the Slackcon Z6, Z7, the first log video, I think I have mentioned that I hope that they will release an entry-level camera which is maybe will call Z5. Maybe there will be an entry-level camera Z5. I think I got it right. Half of it. Half of it right. This is uh, they call Z50, not Z5, but Z50 because this is not full frame camera, this is an APS-C size sensor camera and before I continue, I have to thank you Adorama for sponsor this video keeping me alive, keeping this channel alive alive, yeah Z50, APS-C size camera, APS-C size sensor camera so it, it is so small, I mean the, the whole thing is not that small, but look at how thin it is. It is, it is quite incredible, incredibly small, incredibly small. But then it still has the same Z mount, which look enormous on this. And because they have a smaller sensor, they can make smaller lenses. Just like this one, this is a 16 to 50 f3.5 to 6.3. Now, even though this is kind of like a more uh, a cheaper version, a more entry-level version, this is still not bad. Uh, all the specs are not bad, uh, comparable with other brands' APS-C size mirrorless camera. 20.9 megapixel, which is not, not a lot, but still enough for most situations, well, 20, 20 megapixel. And then you have IAF, this is new, this is quite new to Nikon, because even the Z6 and Z7, when they release, they don't have IF. They add it back into Z6 and Z7 with firmware updates. This one already have IAF right out of the box. 11 FPS. And of course, it shoots 4K 30p and it uses the whole width of the sensor. Everything sounds so modern, it's as expected that what you want to get from an APS-C size mirrorless camera these days. Let's look at the camera itself. It is actually metal body. It is magnesium alloy body, that, which is good. And it has weather sealing, which not all of these mirrorless, APS-C mirrorless camera has weather sealing. This has weather sealing. They only say that it's not as good. The weather sealing is not as good as Z6 and Z7 because it had a pop-up screen, a pop-up <laughs> flash. But yes, it has it. As I mentioned, the body is so thin. I, I like this. Sometimes you just want uh, an option have a, with a smaller camera. And, but the grip, the grip is not bad. The grip, it just feels like Z6 and Z7. It's still the same shape, I think. It feels like the same shape of, compared to Z6 and Z7. Just a little bit smaller. Of course, it w it's not as good as Z6 and Z7. It feels right to me. Maybe I have a small hands, but obviously it's so much better than my Sony camera grip. It's just, yeah, Sony is. On the top, compared to Z6 and Z7, it doesn't, this doesn't have the top LCD display. You've got a mode down here. But one thing you have is two dials. You've got a dial in front and at the back. Compared to a lot of entry-level Nikon DSLR, they only have one wheel. These have two, which is good. Now look at the back, it's also kind of similar, but one thing is that the display button is not a physical button, it's a touch virtual button. The display button and then the, the zoom button as well. Maybe this is just make way for, for uh, because this is a smaller body. Now actually it still occupies some space here. Uh, I'm not, so I'm not really sure why they have to rem re uh, move the physical button onto a virtual button. Maybe it's cheaper this way. It, it just makes the Nikon logo here looks like a, it's a home button. <laughs> is it because this all looks like a Android phone? Now the SD card is at the bottom with the battery, which is kind of similar to a lot of other APS-C mirrorless camera. And the battery is new, a new type of battery. This is a micro USB and an uh, HDMI port and it do has a mic input. No headphone jack, but there's a mic input. Just like a lot of other APS-C mirrors as well for shooting video. And of course for shooting video, you got this two screen. 
it tilts up more than 90 degrees and it tilts down 180 degrees for selfie. I forgot to mention on the top there is a switch here to switch from still mode to video mode which is convenient and then you have you can have different settings for still and video as well really good one thing it's really weird is that when you uh, put it on now it's video mode and of course P mode everything is auto and S but in S mode I can't set the shutter speed I don't know why because when you switch with switch to A mode, you can set the aperture, and then obviously M mode, you can set everything. You can even have auto ISO in uh, manual mode, but that's no S mode for some reason, which I don't know why. And now also put on the mic, and then let's try is shooting video handheld as well, especially because this doesn't have in body stabilization; it only have a lens. We are. It's not a stabilization on Nikon, it's called We Are. Uh, the lens, this uh, 16 to 50 kit lens, it got We Are inside. And then it actually got a uh, different setting. Now it's on normal, it got a spot setting, and it still have electronic We Are as well. Now it's just a normal lens We Are. And judging from that tiny screen, I think it looks all right, it looks quite steady. When I'm walking like that, just single-handed, holding the camera. So you may think, yeah, it has a selfie screen, but it's flipped down. How do you, how are you going to, you, you can't put down the camera. Uh, you can't put on a tripod. Actually, you can. Not this way. Problem solved. <laughs> they, are, they, are, they are quick. Small rig, they are so quick. They already released this mount. You can mount your tripod on this side. And how about one more horseshoe, well, cold shoe on the side. So you can put a light on top and then turn the mic on the side. So that's it. This is a Nikon Z50, a really quite, really cute camera. It is quite, let me show you. It is really thin, as I mentioned. This is, such, this is actually thinner than the lens. And because it's APS-C, you can have smaller lenses you have this 16 to 50, 3.5 to 6.3, and they also have this 50 to 250, f4.5 to 6.3. Really long zoom lens. And at the same time, they also released, um, not them, but Peak Design released this Lake Concept Series Special Edition Peak Design camera strap. It got a set series logo on it. It actually stitch on, not just print on. This is really quite good looking. And then even the strap itself here, the, the, the buckle thing. It's not the usual Peak Design Red, it is Nikon Yellow. So check this out, this is quite, quite special because it's the special edition. So before I end, I have to thank you Eduama again for sponsoring this video, keeping this channel going. In the video description, you can find all the gear I used to make this video. All the links are Eduama links. So check them out when you click on them, you help them to help me help this channel going on. This is how it works. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.